Hey guys, DMike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I mentioned before about what kind of composition of team I wanted to have, but I don't quite have enough of the specific Pikmin that I want, so I'm just going to roll with a 45-55 of reds to rocks. That should be pretty good for this upcoming exploration here. If you guys remember, we tore down that sand wall, and we're going to find out what's up ahead. Seems a little ominous. So we've got a journal entry from a captain, but it's not Charlie. Huh. So I have no idea what Hokotate is, and I'm extra not sure who Captain Olimar is. But it looks like a, a final warning, a bit of a will. Also, apparently it's Hokotate. So, apparently, Brittany, Brittany, is a, uh, she's vegetableist. So... Not very respectful of those of you who like the veggies. Gotta watch yourself, Brittany. So we may be getting ourselves into some trouble here. Potentially. Who knows what's about to happen. So this is a weird little room. Huh. So it looks like it's inside of a tree trunk, maybe. Oh! Um... Oh my goodness, what is that? There is... Some crystalline creature in here. Well, this is spooky. Welcome to the first boss of the game, everybody. So, one of the things to keep in mind is that uh, you're going to want to have your rocks at the ready and just keep moving. This is the mod add something something. I don't quite remember its name, but keep your, keep your uh, Pikmin whistled if you can. Keep moving. Get out of the way if you can. It's the Armored Maw Dad. There you go. So that's its name. So just keep moving. It's going to open up its, uh, its nasty jaws. So you can hit it pretty much anywhere to knock the crystals off of its back. But realistically speaking, oh boy, this is very bad. Oh boy, what is happening? So we're going to whistle our Pikmin back. Hopefully we've got just about everybody. Come back, fellas. All right, so it's going to climb up on the walls. This fight's going to be uh, interesting. I can already tell that, having not practiced this, that it's going to be whew, a bit messy. We'll say that. A bit messy, to say the least. But this fight isn't horrible once I can get my, my legs underneath me. But yeah, he's going to open up his nasty, his nasty jaws and try to suck us inside. We don't want that. We're going to try to get all of our Pikmin to stay intact here. You can knock him off the wall. If you do enough damage, he'll come down and... join us again. So we knocked off one of his pincers, which is good, so he won't be able to use that attack to scoop us up, but he can still use the one to try to eat us. We don't want that. You can charge, get your Pikmin back. It looks like he might have some sort of weird poisonous goo. Nope, not the red ones. <laughs> Come back, little reds. It's not your time yet, but it will be. So yeah, it looks like he's like secreting some sort of weird goo gas stuff. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so do your damage. Whistle your Pikmin back. Rinse and repeat. This fight shouldn't be taking this long, but I am... Not practiced. I have not played this particular fight in the better part of a decade. I think that's about how old is this how old this game is. So it's as new to me as it is to you, sort of. I mean I knew this was coming, but that's a bit it's basically all like Excuse me, Reds. You gotta make sure you got your bright Pikmin highlighted. Oh. I'm gonna juke around as well. He looks like he's having a rough go. Alright, so we blew his head off. That's good. He can't Cause as much damage now. 
The only downside is that when you charge, you have to be mindful of the fact that the thing that you la oh, that you last charged is going to be what you're throwing. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna as soon as you charge, it's gonna set you up with the type of Pikmin that you didn't use. So if I'm charging with rocks, I'm gonna be left with reds. That's just kind of the recipe. That's the the mechanics of the game. So we're gonna wait for him to stop, hopefully, and he's gonna do some damage to him. He's pretty, that was pretty much almost dead right there, just from that attack, that was pretty good. So the reds are super good at attacking. And that's it, that wasn't too bad. I do kind of feel bad that we just, you know, killed him and stole his cell phone, I guess. Sorry, buddy. So that signal was coming from this old 1980s cell phone here. I think it's really funny that whenever you see like there's a an image, an iconographic for phones, that it's always like a handset that's like a rotary phone or like a phone that you would use like a like a corded phone, a wired phone that you'd have on like the wall back in the day, which we don't have anymore. We have smartphones, but a smartphone wouldn't really be a good indicator of a phone, I guess, because it just looks like a rectangle. But that's an armored Maudad, and we actually don't have as many reds, so we're going to use the the reds to carry his corpse as they get stuck <laughs> on the cell phone. Probably should have used the... We got to get the cell phone out of the way first, I guess. And then carrying the fruit, it doesn't matter. You can carry your fruit with whoever. That was like a dragon fruit, I believe. Or a, like a spicy asparagus. I'm not asparagus, artichoke, I can't talk. See if we could have any Pikmin help. There we go. All right. So we didn't lose any Pikmin in that fight, which is great. And honestly, I am shocked because I was afraid that, that was going to go way worse and this would be a very embarrassing episode. I don't really have the ability to pre-play stuff in this current setup that I have. Because if with the way that saving is, I, I don't have the ability to really... I could, I could redo a day, I guess, but when I'm in the middle of a day, if I goof, I can't really redo that. So this is all very live. Everything that's happening is in the moment. You guys are catching it as it happens. Live and on set. Fresh from D-Mic Industries. As we're getting stuck behind all of these... Large things being carried. This kind of feels like a funeral procession. It's kind of sad. A little, a little grim. Let's go ahead and throw Alf unintentionally. Got to break open this this nectar. There were a couple of leaves left in there. There we go. Looks like that's everybody. Okay. So everybody's in a parade across the bridge. This is very exciting. This looks like one of those. It looks kind of like a lobster. I'm assuming it's based off of like a like a crawfish, crayfish, how do you say that? There's those like one in a million or like one in a billion blue lobsters that are hanging out in the sea. Hopefully people send them back. It's too rare to eat, I would say. Unless it's like the ultimate delicacy. Some people are weird. Anyway, we're getting a phone call to the co-pad. A message from the Drake. Now that we brought in this cell phone, we should get some enhanced capabilities. You can even see it's got like a rotary phone there is the picture of the phone on it. An ancient communication device, right? The data glutton. So this makes me think of those Nokia phones that have gone through like conflicts of like war and still survived and people could use them. They're just built to last. Okay, so I guess Alf is the engineer. He's a little flighty, a little loose of mind, but we brought that Ma Dad, armored Ma Dad, back to the onion. So that's very good. I don't know how many Pikmin that gave us exactly. We can check. Okay, so they gave a lot. So we only had 45 reds to start but that gave us 50 of them. So that's pretty impressive. So now we have 95. We're gonna 
Let's go ahead and get these pellets while we're thinking about it. We're gonna wait till they're gray, so we get the right color. Get some rocks while we're in the neighborhood. Might as well. The day is just about dead, so there isn't really a ton that we can do, but we can play around a little bit. Oh, didn't wait for that. That was my fault. Not gonna get the full rock exposure now, unfortunately. That's okay. But we already have the maximum amount of Pikmin on the field, so you're not gonna see any of them pop out of the onion. They're just gonna say as little seedlings, which is good. So I believe that we've already got all this done, so we can end the day. If you want to speed stuff up, if you already feel like you've made enough progress, you can hit end day from the start menu, and that will basically take care of that for you. There isn't really a ton that you'd want to do. So hopefully the pacing of this is going well. We're going to get sucked back into the Drake and take back off into PNF 404 orbit. Hang out in the atmosphere. Like a heckin' space station. All right, so that was a pretty fruitful day. We kind of just went in there and took out a mini boss, but that's okay. I guess that'd be considered a boss boss. Not really a mini boss, it was quite large actually. Yeah. And we collected this fruit, the dragon fruit, which is the fire breathing feast. I love the names of all of the, of all the fruits they have. So yeah, we can, we can rotate it. This sound is ridiculous. If you can, I want to be quiet so you can hear it. The squeaky wheel gets the grease though, guys. Don't forget. It's a very purpley juice. That looks almost like grape juice. But that's one... Two full juice containers. Look like maybe like a third or a half of another. So that's pretty good. That's a lot of juice from just that one... That one dragon fruit. We've used the last of the copai infused goo, whatever that is. But we've got six days of juice left, so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. And I don't think we lost anybody on that day, but we did get a heckin' ton more of rock Pikmin and red Pikmin. That Ma Dad gave us a ton of red Pikmin. So we've got just a little over 150 collectively, which is nice. Looks like today's log is from Brittany. We recover the communication device that was inside the armored Modad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communication range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. Signed, Brittany. That was very kind of you, Brittany. Brittany is definitely the sass bringer of the group. And if you want to do a defeat boss's mission, you can. You can fight the armored Maw Dad there if you'd like. Whatever you're into. So, yeah. Now we're going to be on to exploration day four. We'll see what these two are up to. So we've got that cell phone now, and it expands the range for the Drake, so we'll be able to actually see exactly what's going on from farther away. It looks like Charlie might uh, be found after all. So thanks to Alf, the receiver range has been expanded. And now we can get eyes on potentially where Charlie is. Nobody, nobody calls you that. Oh, come on. Give Alf some credit. He's the one that's going to help us find Charlie after all. So that's where we're going to wind up. We're going to go check out the distant tundra next time to find out where Charlie is. And uh, hopefully we can complete our rescue mission. So guys, thanks for watching. This has been Pikmin 3. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.